Oh, hey, look, I'm playing Vampire Survivors. Uh, yeah, we're doing the tower thing. Which is, what, le reach level 80? What was the name of that song? Hang on. This one. Oh, you can lock the selector. That's cool. Alright. We just have to survive to level 80. I'm thinking pentagram is the way to go. But also... This. Will not be an easy feat. Why this bird just reminds me of the Pokemon that Ash sees at the start of the anime. I mean, it's meant to be her, but I don't know. I'm gonna prioritize the whip just to get Life Leech going first. I was thinking maybe do the twin gun thing, but they just take too long to kind of get up and running to a point where it's comfortable. Hey Sandy, what's up? Uh, yeah, just keep going this path. I'm going to try not to spread myself too thin here. Now that I think about it, the Song of Mana character probably is going to be a better character for this level.
dealing with casual insomnia. <laughs> so what's new? Uh, I'm just wrapped up my work day, just kicking back. We're gonna open up with this just to relax a little, since it doesn't require too much of my attention. Just you were playing this today after a few months break. <laughs> They've added a lot to it. Like I'm surprised how much content this game has, but I'm working through some of the achievements. So I'm doing this tower achievement right now. Ah. Ah. How's the weather? Uh, normal. Wouldn't say it's hot or anything. Like, we only had a couple of days where it was really hot, and then it was just... Nothing really special worth mentioning. Usually at the end of February, it's just, yeah. It starts getting cooler. Okay. Card is at max. And whip is at max, so hopefully with this it'll give me the evolution. Ah, oh shit. I didn't realize there was a wall there. I'm just surprised how much this game gelled with me, like... It seems simple enough, but... It's just a lot to do in it. It's honestly my go-to now if I want to play something, but not necessarily... ...put too much effort into it. I mean, it's not that I don't have to think, it's just... ...I can play this with one hand and, like... ...enjoy a drink or something. I think I might go on some pickup radius. It's. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm just going in for it. Nice! Wait, it didn't give me the upgrade? Why not? Oh, that's bullcrap. Okay, um. Yeah, I can't believe that happened. Alright, well, both whips are max now. I'm surprised that happened. I don't have my life leech. Okay, I'm going pentagram. Oh, it didn't destroy stuff. Nice. I'm having this pentagram plan work out. That's how you feel about starter. Yeah, starter's nice. It's a different kind of chill for me. It's not a complete brain turn off though. At least not for me.
I can't believe it didn't upgrade my whip. That sucks so much. I was kind of counting on it. Just to kind of be able to push through this. Okay. Out there, they random as random. There's always a chance it doesn't. At least that was lucky. Oh my god. Oh, this is already insane. This is why I wanted the life leech at this point. Okay, increase the radius. Inverted stages are so much harder. Uh. Okay, but we've arrived at 45%. So at least when the pentagram goes off, it has a strong enough chance not to destroy items. Oh, the chest. Go, go. Okay. That's whip number one. Okay, this will make things a bit easier. Sixty five per cent chance of race items. How many levels does it have left? One more. Okay. Give me it. I might have to adjust my plans here. God, leave me alone. <laughs> I have to get this kill.
Shit. Like, alright, I guess I'm gonna go Rude and Tracer. Should be okay for a while. Okay, there we go. That's pistol number one. I'm going for the expensive build here. Uh, do I want spell by now? I'm just thinking. Twin guns merge into single. Yep, I do. Alright. Just planning out what I'm doing. Crown and Tiramisu are my last two items. I just need to make sure I get them. That's Tiramisu. I'll secure it in. I keep calling it that, but it's called something else, but you know, that's what it is. I think I might just get this already, because there's always the chance that it just disappears. Okay, there's Rune Tracer. Okay, that's crown. Hey. Okay. Now everything's gonna be okay. And I got the other gun too. Look at how nice that looks. Sitting comfortably now. Uh, I guess just keep balancing it out. I'm not sure how this is going to end. This already feels chaotic.
Uh, they're not ready to merge yet. Okay. That gun is done. Stuff just isn't dying quick enough. Even though I have a pretty hectic build. I'm running up for a bit. Oh god. Am I just going to be living between those explosions? I'm just hoping they go. level to pick that up. I guess it's working. I'm still a bit afraid of where this is headed. Oh wow, we're still ages away from the item. Keep going. I mean, look, just grab it. Oh no! Oh! Almost died. <laughs> I 
That's bad. go past this point. Oh boy. I kind of have to move out of there. Doesn't wanna doesn't wanna give me the item I want. Alright, look, we don't want that. Okay. I'm trying to get the claw so then I have AoE. I'm assuming the truck and stuff like that. Oh, what is this? Just have to keep hoping that it's going to give me out. I'm just barely hanging in there. I honestly might have to go this, just... I don't know if I can hold out without picking up something. This item is not bad. Alright, I'm just gonna go it. Especially if it's confused in effect. It does explode, it is AoE. It's just not what I wanted, but at this point I feel like I have to go for something. And the time freezing capability might very well help me.
so it's fine. I think. Oh god. Uh, I died. The claw got me, I couldn't see the claw. What was that sound? <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Oh my god. Game, please. Even with the even with the fire, even with the fire, still not enough damage. Okay, it's level 80, that's what I needed to reach. So I guess I have achieved what I wanted to. I just don't think I'm completing this. That was stupid of me. I'm going for it either way. This adds the confusion aspect to them. This might give me the edge to win. time now. No! Claw, get out of- get out of the way, get out of the way. I just have to survive another minute. I don't understand how that crab is not dead yet. Oh god. I'm just gonna keep running down. <laughs> I just have to run out the clock. Fifteen seconds. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Got it. Don't care if I die. Don't care if I die. Don't care if I die. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. I got it. Hyper tiny bridge. Whatever that is. Um. Okay. I want to play more with this character. This character seemed cool. 
Oh no, this is a completely new stage. Two opposing factions abruptly stop fighting over this little bridge. No doubt the source of this cessation will turn out to be harmless. What does this mean? Enemies grow stronger over time. Um, no, but the other one what was it? it was find the only place where flowers bloom in the bone zone. Okay. The only place where flowers bloom in the bone zone. Where is this? I'm just saying where it is. What you have to do for it. Sorry, just trying to find it. Flowers in the bone zone. I'm looking. Trying to find an exact guide to it, but there doesn't seem to be one. Hmm. One sec. Okay, head towards the silver ring. It takes some time to get there, but eventually we'll make it. Keep going. Destination is beyond the ring's resting place. Directly above it. Okay. okay. Alright. So, it's like, roughly directly above it. Uh... Let me give this character a try. It's a new character. Why not? Bone Zone. I mean, that's kind of cool that I already kind of start with this. I'm going projectile on this one. Whoa, the area just... <laughs> Holy crap. We got a maximum one now. I mean, this is a good choice, I think. Just because of how much they're gonna vary. When they're giant, it's kind of incredible. But obviously, that's not going to last forever. Spend a little bit of time leveling up and then I'll head for it. <laughs> they're so tiny now. But they're really quick.
Oh, wait, I'm doing inverter now, aren't I? Oh, that's a mistake. I needed to turn inverter off. I just realized, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess see how we do. But I'm like, why is this hard? It's only for the previous achievement that I needed inverted. Oh no. <laughs> it's weird, it only happens on this stage as well. I'm, I'm not sure why that happens. But the gem becomes missing number. Oh, I mean, nah, I'm good. It'll fix itself. Just, yeah, it's weird. You know what, I'm not sure I... Do I even need this to evolve it? Probably not. I guess let's see. Two more. One more. No, they're tiny. <laughs> ah! To me, you suck. <laughs> All right, but it's ready. Both of them are ready.
Oh, this is not good. I need that chest out of that thing. Has it not died yet? Okay, there's a chest. Wait. Wait, 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 why not? Oh, because of duplicator ring. Okay, so you do need hollow heart. That's why it didn't happen. So you do need hollow heart. That's kind of a letdown. Even though that item is incorporated in it. Uh, shit, what am I going to do? I'll go cool down. All right, minor adjustment. I forgot about the duplicator. Oh, it's back to normal. Okay, there's the duplicator. So now it's ready. I don't know if I'll survive that long. Holy crap. Pull down again, just... Get the stuff going off more often. Yeah. I messed up. Uh, but I didn't want to do inverted anyway. I just wanted to do standard. Okay. Inverted is insanely hard. Okay, get that before I forget. <laughs> I don't want this to get away. No. Yes. Okay. This is going to work out this time. This is so slow. But I, I guess, I mean, when it goes super fast, it's going to be great. Like, it does balance it out.
Uh, I guess if I'm thinking projectiles. I believe this is the way. See how this works out. Let's probably overlap with the books now. Difference between luck and curse. That's nah, not that big. I don't really want any of this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess if I'm doing. I guess if I'm doing something that's gonna defend me, I guess this will do. Since when it's AoE is big, it will do a bit. Like, it's not negligible. But then at the very least, I have, like, a shield around me all the time. It also frees up a slot for a different passive, so that's my train of thought on it. Okay, there's Rune Tracer.
Oh, whoops. Alright, I guess. Uh, that's a shame. Come on, one more rune tracer. Really? <laughs> Okay, there it is. Get it! Oh. Didn't hand it over. Alright. It's fine, it's ready. any of these. I guess it's good for duration. I wonder if this is just at a certain time. No, okay. I went back to normal already. I was gonna say at a certain time it just seems to do that. It's only this stage. No other stage does that for me. Really doesn't want to give me the other whip. Alright, I might just have to start heading towards the ring now. Not that whip, other whip. <laughs> I guess that can evolve now. Didn't evolve, why not? <laughs> why not? Ah, oh, that was just unlucky. There it is. Got it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I have a higher luck stat than a curse stat. I mean, curse stat than a luck stat. So I should increase curse. Just to make the most out of that other item. Touch me! <laughs> My movement speed is just on the edge of being too slow. I'll be fine, I don't need move speed. I still don't have upgraded anything, despite having multiple items ready. Okay, there we go. Right? Yeah, whip is like pretty close as well. Seems to be working okay. Hey, Conto Buffalo, can't say you're at work, wanted to drop by and say hi. Well, appreciate that a lot. Enjoy your work day. Yeah. Hope it goes well. I've wrapped up mine, so I'm just chilling with this for doing Wind Waker. Hmm. Okay, this. I kind of wanted to head up there a bit earlier, but I just have not felt comfortable enough. I guess. Alright. I think it might be time to head up there. Alright, let's go. So according to the guide, it's directly above where the ring is. I just need to be ready. please. <laughs> Keep going. Hopefully I'll get something to vacuum that all up. Okay, hold on, I need to get this thing. Just take the time to get it.
Okay, what is it? Oh, nice. Upgraded whip. Now I can take another item. Let's go. Okay. Um, so... Not that one. I need the other one. I need the bar. The bar's a good one, because that'll curse me, ultimately. But it'll give me damage before that. Passively increase damage. There's another approach I can take. Which I've been debating it, but... I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're heading up. the one. Alright, got it. There's Rune Traces upgrade. Finally. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, now I can pick Summon Knight. There we go. Sick. Alright, build is complete. Those giant claws, look at that. They'll be tiny from time to time, but they're still useful. Okay, I'm heading towards the ring now. the skeleton. Okay. There's the flaming skull. I 
I got a while to go, but I think this is comfortable enough to win now. Directly north of here is where I'm gonna find what I'm looking for. I just need to deal with this first. Ow! to deal with this thing first before I move up there. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> the level up wouldn't let me move and this thing kept moving on top of me. Ready to evolve. Double claw. Okay, so that is correct. Now the difference between luck and curse is 120, so the shield does more damage. Pretty cool duality. need this thing to die before I can go do the thing. Ah, stay away! Oh my god, why is it moving so quickly? What? Why did it suddenly become death? Doing fine. It just sped up. Or was that the curse thing? But I had the curse thing for a while. Okay. Um. This character is insane to play that stage with. I feel like. Let me pick one where I I know I'm gonna get it done with. Um. Projectile based characters are usually ones that do well. Like you. You do pretty well. This is the projectile build. What 
fuck? <laughs> Is it throwing garbage? Anyway. Doing things to augment projectiles. That's not what I was expecting that item to be. Probably get move speed on this character. I don't know. We'll see. I shouldn't have to, but I don't want that to happen again. All right. Most important item acquired. much there. And then I want cooldown reduction. As the final item. Terror bombs have kind of grown on me as an item a little. It's a joke that the item is a, like a kinder surprise, so it's a surprise what it throws. <laughs> I don't know. It's not what I was expecting the item to do.
Okay, there's the cooldown reduction. Alright, that's all passives acquired. should work out. When I hit level 30, it's just gonna increase the damage by so much. Everything's gonna get an extra projectile. Trust in the projectiles. Don't worry about the fence. More speed, more bounces. Pull down reduction. Ah. That was bad. I need both revives. It's a stupid bone turrets. Projectiles are just so hard to see. <laughs> and I've just been unlucky with finding heals. Okay, I'm going to track board just to make it easier. Excellent, that's what I wanted. Even that level one, that's gonna be strong.
<laughs> no, just gonna work. Hello, Lucasen, how's it going? How are you today? Uh, yeah, that one. thinking. I'm going to increase area damage. No, 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 no. Stay away. I hate this. When it levels up multiple times, it doesn't let you move, but they still keep moving. Um, Alright, I'm going magic. Just stop leveling up! Please! <laughs> I need to move. Ugh. I hate that. I hate that so I hate that so much. Oh. That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> All those levels up, they just they messed me up. I couldn't move. But they would move so far. It just stops your character in its tracks. So they just got too close. Uh, Alright, one more try. Then I'm gonna play Wind Waker. Can I afford you yet? Wait, why? I thought this cost less. Apparently not. Um... I mean, either one of those, these two, I feel like, would work. Who has the better movement speed? They're both the same. They're pretty much identical characters. Just, I guess this one has more stats. Alright, I guess stick to you. Okay. All in on projectiles, let's go. We're gonna need that. I want to know the story behind the egg item. That looks like a kinder surprise, and it's dropping garbage. There's probably an inside joke. Like, that's- that has to be what that is. It can't be anything else, like... Maybe, because, I don't know, I haven't had one of those since I was a kid. What do they look like? Um, yeah, this, this looks like what it is. Okay, I mean, you be the judge, but like... I don't know. That- that's a dead ringer to me, to, for that thing. I guess I just want to know why- why that, and why does it drop garbage on the screen? I may have moved my desk slightly so my USB hub is like, What? You moved the desk? Dun -dun. Uh. Every year I have to buy a new external USB hub because 
I have yet to find one. Doesn't matter how much money I spend on it, it has like a shelf life of about one year. Even if I'm extra careful, it's just all of them start doing this at some point. I wish I could have enough room to put an internal one in, but I don't. I forgot to say how you do it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure you're starting your day, so it's all good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. I'm wrapping up mine, just kicking back with this before I play some Wind Waker. Overslept a bit. Define oversleeping. What's oversleeping for you? Stop it! Hard drive! Ugh. I hate... I don't... I don't do anything. Sorry. I'm so angry at this USB hub. Okay, hang on. How did I fix this? Okay, there we go. An hour and a half. But, like, I want... I guess, time-wise, like... We're talking 8.30 in the morning, later than that, earlier. Because some people will say, like, getting up at 9 is oversleeping. Some people will say getting up at 10 is oversleeping. 10.30, okay, so a bit more later. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you don't have a busy day. Wait, pizza with pineapple? <laughs> Extra emphasis on the with pineapple. Also, hey Nick, thanks for the 47 months, dude. Almost, almost there. One more month. Is that just for anyone that doesn't like pineapple? You're like, oh no, yeah, I had pizza and it was definitely with pineapple. One more until what? Uh, 48. Then it's like, uh, that's, uh, that's four years, right? Four years. Which is an insane amount of time. I've been an affiliate for four- no, 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 Nick's subscribing for four years. How long have I been an affiliate for? I don't- you know, I don't know that, to be honest. I have to find the original email and figure out when. Close to six- I start- okay, so this is what happened. I started streaming, the affiliate program didn't exist, then it launched, and then I got it right away. So, I don't know. It was in the same year. So I started streaming, and in that same year, the affiliate program launched, and I just immediately got it. So, that's what it was. I don't know how long ago that was. I, to be honest, I haven't been keeping track. But I will say I have the stupidest stream anniversary in hindsight. Um, also, hey, Laura. <laughs> Forgot to say hi. Uh, my stream anniversary is on New Year's Day because... The year I started streaming, it was a hot New Year's Eve. Like, extremely hot. So I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. I was like, yeah, I'll start streaming. And so now, like an idiot, my stream anniversary is on New Year's Day. April 2017 was affiliate. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, and I started in 2017, so. In January, January 1st. <laughs> I, I regret it so much. Because if I want to make, like, a big event out of it, it's like, oh, yeah. New Year's Eve. Hey! 
Okay, I got it. How do I keep the will to continue up? I can't help but like point out um, the obvious answer where there's a will, there's a way, and my name is Will, so you know. But no, uh, you have attention difficulties, so keeping things going for you is pretty mind boggling. I mean, to be honest, it, it boils down to a couple of things, okay? You thought it was Tilda. There's a story behind the stream name, but I won't go into it now. Um, but... It boils down to a few things. One... What helps you keep going, or any streamer keep going for that matter, is the audience and the community you form. Alright, that's a big factor in it. Probably the largest. So, you know... A lot of it is just the people that have stuck with me throughout the years. It's just like memories that I wouldn't trade for anything. But I suppose the other thing is just... Uh, for me, this is a creative outlet, so... I get to... Put in... I don't I get to mess around with stuff. I get to do things that I guess I wouldn't be able to do creatively in the line of work I do. Um, but also, you know, lets me socialize with people and hang out with others and, you know. I would definitely say that some of the people I've met on Twitch have become my friends, so. That's partially a... That's probably it. There was never really a thing for me that I was thinking about, oh, I need to become a streamer where I'm doing this as a career. So there isn't really, like, a... That pressure or, like, I guess internal ticking clock where I feel like I have to make it work by a certain date or it's just, like, I should stop. So that that's not really there for me. So, I mean, I'll keep doing this as long as people like to hang out and watch me. So when it's like that, it's not really that hard to be motivated. But granted, there are times where I will admit, like, things do get hard and you do kind of sometimes question, like, if you're doing things right or not. Everyone goes through that, and it's only natural, but for the most part, that's, uh, yeah. That's why I've been able to do it for so long, I guess. In Swedish, Tilda's a female name. No kidding. I didn't know that. I'm surprised Cat hasn't said anything. Like, meh. But the name, the stream name pretty much comes from me trying to find a name that wasn't taken across YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and, uh, Instagram, I feel like, at the time. So, the... The Tilda character, in terms of language, it's used in programming and it's used in Spanish. So, like, I did quite a bunch of programming as a job, along with graphic design. And, uh, yeah, I mean, my heritage is Central American, so... I figured, yeah, that, that little symbol that's used in the language of Spanish made sense. And then the word shambles is just, like... It just means things are a mess, which I'm sure you do. But I'll say it for anyone that doesn't know. So, I just- I like to think that it just... ...means that it's okay to be a mess and laugh at yourself. Which, yeah, I mean... If you've ever watched any of my streams... I remember when I was still told the TV. Okay, yes, originally that was the thing. But even still, like, the premise is correct. It's... I found something that no one had taken, really. And then it was Twitter that was the odd one out, but still okay. And then I decided to change it. Because it bothered me that, like, Twitter was out of place. 
It's gonna be funny if Twitter ends up going away and then it's like, oh, that concern was uh, something I shouldn't have worried about. I'm like a, but being a casual cafe owner, just come out and hang out if I have time. I guess that's pretty much it. I couldn't have known. No, of course not. Of course not. I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. If I could get to a point where I could do this as like a, a maybe not a job, but like, I don't know, something in the realm of it, then sure. But I think to get to, get to that point, it's not as easy as it used to be, and I guess... I don't want to be negative. I don't want this to be taken as negative, but it's just... I guess there's no indication that I'm going to... I haven't hit that tipping point that's required to kind of go full-time and do this as a living. And I don't see a sign that that's going to happen. That's purely basing it off, like, just a trend and a number. But of course, you know, life's unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen one day, so... But I'm keeping it, uh, just, you know, realistic. I, I have a good job. Uh, it lets me live pretty comfortably. I'm grateful for it. So, I wouldn't want to pursue this and it become, like, a source of stress. And then I just end up not really liking what I do anymore and burn out from it. So, yeah. Do I advertise myself? <laughs> not really. I, I really should. I really, really should, but I don't. All, all I... The only thing I've started doing lately is just... When I'm streaming and doing videos, I will say, you know, thanks for clicking. If you're on YouTube, do the, all that algorithm stuff. But other than that, not really. Like... I kind of know what's required of me, like, if I was to want to pursue this properly, I think I would have to do what most Australian streamers do, which is, like, you either start streaming really late, so, like, we're talking 10 o'clock at night my time, so then you catch the Europeans and the Americans, or you get up at, like, 6 in the morning and then you stop streaming at about midday, which... Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's not ideal. Like, I think most of the the larger Australian streamers I know, uh, that's what they do. Or they end up moving to, like, a better time zone. I don't know. You went into wanting to turn this into a job, but it's a lot of work. Advertising yourself feels so goddamn shallow and weird. Yeah. I mean... I've, I've tried to keep things... Where I try to present myself as genuine as I can be. Like, true to myself, right? And that's not to say that people that do that aren't true to themselves. That's not it at all. It's just... How it feels like to me, um, I mean, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but, so when I've gone to, like, um, conferences or, you know, industry events, there are people that'll kind of, you know, you'll talk to people, and some of them will be like, you know, add me to LinkedIn, and, you know, you kind of do it, and... A lot of that crowd, I don't know, they just kind of... Their, their interest is just networking, networking, networking to kind of try and further themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I don't know, to me it just... If I want to make a connection with someone, I want it to be beyond what can you do for me. You know what I mean?
Back out of there. Again, I'm not trying to... <laughs> I'm not trying to call out anyone or how they do things. Like, I understand from a marketing perspective, you should be branching out, you should be talking with other streamers, and you should be doing a bunch of stuff to put yourself out there. But I guess to me, I would only do that stuff if, like... I've connected with the person in, in a way that's genuine, and you know, if I'm doing that, I'm saying that because I truly believe in the other person, and they believe in me. And not just because we're both, like, doing the same career, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, don't, don't let whatever I'm saying, like, change your view. If you want to pursue this as a full-time thing, do it. I mean, you'll pro probably do better than me. You find it more efficient to become friend-ish with people you visit on Twitch because, well, it's crassy if you like. Their audience people be... Hang on. I can't read it. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge and read. Okay. You find it more efficient to become friendish with people you visit on Twitch because, well, crassly, if you like the person, their audience might be people you like. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if you're doing things right... Generally speaking, you'll attract a crowd that's similar to you. <laughs> you read it as fiendish? I mean, I don't know. For me, I, just, I guess I don't like forcing things when it comes to to streaming. I guess like another area is, I guess connecting with another streamer to the point where like you're doing stuff together on stream. There are a lot of videos that kind or like advice areas that kind of recommend that you do collaborations and. Yeah, there, there is truth to it. Collaboration is a powerful thing. But I don't believe in doing that just for the sake of doing it. Like, I, try, I tried it once initially when I first started off, just like, you know. People that I got, on, got along with on the surface level, but we hadn't really played games together before. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just found it didn't work ultimately. But, I have played stuff with people, like other streamers, and it has worked properly. And a lot of that came down to the fact that, you know, spend a while getting to know them. And I guess we just gelled better as a, as a result. It's like, when it came time to playing a game together, um, it just didn't feel... It didn't feel artificial, I don't know if that makes sense. I felt like playing with a friend as opposed to like... Something where you're just trying to make like a business connection, if that makes sense. You got a vibe with coppers, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I will I will say it again, just, these are just my opinions and how I feel about certain things. And I guess what feels like it works for me, but... I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a full-time streamer, I'm not, like, in that level of success, so... But... Since we're talking about it, I'll share...
I've been at it long. No, I have, but I guess my my reasoning is different. Like, okay, an exercise that you should be doing if you want to do this full time, and this comes from multiple large streamers. Some of them will say the same thing: is when you get started or before you even get started, you should set yourself goals. And goals can be in two categories. There can be something where it's something simple, like um, hit 500 followers within your first year. Now that that is a goal of sorts, but it's not really a good goal. It's like one that you should probably have in mind. It's a good, it's, it's a metric, it's an indicator, but it's not really like an overarching goal. Another goal could be just, I don't know, you plan to stream without fail on a consistent schedule and you're going to be streaming like at l guaranteed you know for three days a week or something like that right and you try to keep that goal up i didn't do any of that stuff i, <laughs> I kind of started and i was like yeah okay i mean i wouldn't be able to tell you why i decided to stream other than at the time I kind of felt like there was a bit of a creative void like I felt like I was just kind of going to work doing my thing there and then just kind of floating about so I guess I needed something where I could put some of my creative energy into it, but also just, I guess, as a way to unwind. A consistent schedule is good for people knowing when to pop by. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, if you want, if you want a better breakdown as to like what you should be doing if you want to do this full time. That streamer Ludwig has an excellent video that uh like talks about his mentality. And it's a really relevant one, whether you like the guy or not. Um He's a streamer that's kind of become popular in the last four or five years, so his take on that is very relevant in terms of what you should be doing. So, I, you know, I look at that and I'm like, yeah, I haven't done any of that, so... I probably won't get to the point where this is, like, a full-time thing for me. Ludwig, yeah. Um, he's a streamer that blew up on Twitch and now he's on YouTube. Like, just... Insane how quickly... Uh, just rose up. I think Ludwig's pretty cool. Like, I've watched this stuff. Dude has a pretty level-headed opinion. Can be a bit of a troll sometimes and kind of has... Sometimes plays into the jock personality, but, you know. When he's talking about streaming stuff, the dude makes a lot of sense. Need a run? Not all good, Lucasson. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for the chat. Leave Twitch? Who? <laughs> who are you telling to leave Twitch? Well, so why am I not having success in this? Oh, leave Twitch like Ludwig. No, but he left after he was popular. <laughs> not before. Like, he got, a, he got a deal out of it. It's not like he chose to leave it. I mean, granted, he did say one of the big reasons he did end up choosing YouTube over Twitch was that Twitch were very nonchalant about, like, asking him to stay. They kind of made it seem like they didn't need him, I guess. Like, he just didn't feel like, um... He was very wanted, you know? Like... I don't know. 
Watch this video, he'll he'll put it in better words than I can. I'm kind of paraphrasing it. I should put like a massive disclaimer, just like Pay no attention to me. <laughs> just uh, talking about my experiences so far. Okay, this is for real the final attempt, and then I, I, I'm going to do Wind Waker. This build usually works out, but I guess it's maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I guess to summarize, like, if you're doing something you enjoy and there's no pressures that are kind of affecting your enjoyment of what you do, whether it be like monetary or just burnout or anything really, then I mean. You can keep doing things for a very long time. I think sometimes uh, I try to do things that are altruistic in my mind, you know? And that's probably not the best thing if I want to, I guess, grow as a streamer. I don't know. Like, you can be altruistic, but I think at a certain point you do kind of have to cave and start doing stuff that's like, oh yeah, tell people to like your videos, tell people to comment on stuff, tell people to follow you, tell people to do this. Maybe I just need to develop, like, a YouTuber voice. I just need to sound more excited. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> I got my... My items already. I've been listening to this song for a couple of hours and I'm not tired of it. I don't know why, but I just I like it. This time I'm going to try and get Summon Knight to its evolved form before anything else. I think just having that AoE is going to help deal with the Horde. I mean that and Cherry Bomb, those are my two AoE items.
go, go. I won't get the gauntlet just yet. It's still early, I'm just gonna grab it. Now that I look at it, it's just these skulls that seem to be taking my health down. Because the problem is, whilst the projectiles are doing well, it makes it harder to spot out their projectiles. So that's probably where I'm taking all my damage. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Just to make it easy to collect stuff. That is my utility item. <laughs> that piano. Go, go, go. Uh, no thank you, I guess I'll get AoE. I really, really want to pull this off. Mm. Okay, that'll work. Unfortunately, it's not the item I want to upgrade. But I guess now we've gotten it to the point where it can evolve. Okay, projectile upgrade is going to happen at this next level too, so... Uh, sure. Plus one to projectiles. I'm gonna get this now. I think I think it's about time. Bring it into the equation. I'm trying not to spread myself out too thin here, so I'm leaving the bone for now. going much better this time.
Uh, okay, let's go minecart. This is where the rebounds shine. Okay. Wait, it didn't evolve Rune Tracer, why not? Why? <laughs> Alright, look, it's fine. That's reached ready to evolve state as well. The important thing is this is gonna be my defense now. I think I've hit my stride now. And for those wondering, the last item I want to get is cooldown buff. Oh, no! It's okay, I'm still alive. Just don't mess up again. I uh, could get move speed. Just don't mess up again. Ooh. I hate leveling up when something's chasing you. I have to start banishing. Okay. Nice. Alright, 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 alright. Now I should be safe. Alright, I'm heading for the ring now. This is pretty much going to keep me shielded now. Uh, I think I've kind of gone off course a little. So from here, just head up and I should find it.
really doesn't want to give me the book. Also just got another plus one to projectiles. There's the book. Alright, we're good. We're laughing now. Just to make sure I'm not leaving a chest behind or anything. Okay, I think this is finally gonna work out. This is it. Just making sure. <sighs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Where is it? Okay, it's just down here. I believe that's it. Nothing else can upgrade now. Close, are we? Still two tiles away. <laughs> and I can go play Wind Waker. Guess that's as far as it goes. All right, let's see how quickly it gets taken out. That's a good sign. It's getting stun locked. It's like, just this piano is stuck on it. is not dead. I've been attacking it non-stop for a solid 30 seconds. There we go. Okay. So, according to the guy just north of here, this is the spot that I need to find. Oh, you've got to be kidding. We get to pick a weapon as well. Um, okay, what can we evolve further? Probably... I'm gonna go ring. Since we have duplicator. Let's get lightning strikes in the mix, why not? 
Okay, so apparently a little bit north. Let me just make sure I'm not missing this out. Okay. It just says keep going. You will know when you get there. Unfortunately, there's, there's no, there's no frame of reference. Oh, ugh, why is it lagging? There we go. There it is. Yep, this is it. This is what we're after. The only place in this map where the flowers grow. Okay, and that was it. Alright, mission successful. Now let's just finish this up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pick... Because I, I don't trust that this is gonna go the distance still for some reason. Yep, yep, case in point. Because <laughs> I don't have life leech. Ow! <laughs> this is hurting so much. So, I mean, at this point, can anyone really tell me what's going on? Like, this is just a blur, surely, at this point. <laughs> the bitrate is, is just completely gone. <laughs> I just know that where my mouse is currently, that's where my character is. That's it. I've got another 10 minutes of this. I guess I may as well go for the other parts. Oh look, it's death. I think I don't even have to chase it, just sit still. Let the minecarts do their job. <laughs> Something died with a chest.
Okay. <laughs> there we go. Projectile builds are so fun. Well, the characters that end up with just plus three to projectiles. How far up did I go to find that? Jeez. It must have taken ages to get up there. I, I can't see it. <laughs> I genuinely can't see where it is. Alright, there it is. It's stunned. It's not gonna get me. The, re the rebounds and the projectile speed are just too strong. It's effectively stun locked. I'm surprised I can withstand this. There we go. Okay, ow. No, chicken. We want chicken. 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 Okay, there we go. Okay, yep, I got it.
<laughs> I just want, I just want this to be over. I'm still getting it just in case there's a candy box and we get to pick a new, another item. Say what it was. I think it was a skeleton. Game, please don't <laughs> don't lag out. Candy box. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't let you pick the, the stupidly overpowered stuff. So I can't get cape, for example. But I can get this, which will help towards the uh, the health situation. There we go. Quite the insane freebie to be getting. <laughs> you actually can't see what's going on now. I'm surprised you can pick this one, to be honest, because this is two, technically. Alright, we've only got, like, another minute. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to look. I mean, for me, it, it's still somewhat clear, like, I can see what's going on. But I imagine this is just a complete bitrate killer at this point, like, it's just a smudge on the screen. Hope this holds out.
Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, anyway. Success. So, let's just see. Okay, I mean, I've done most of these. Oh, it's this thing. It's still not a, still not enough for you. But okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Well, this is where I'm gonna leave Vampire Survivors. I got it done, so I'm happy. We'll pick this up another time. So, if you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Particularly if you're new here. I'm going to take a small intermission for a couple of minutes. I just want to refill my water bottle, more importantly. But also stretch my legs for a couple of minutes. And then uh, we're going to continue Wind Waker HD. So I just need to set up the Wii U. Shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. But if you were here for Vampire Survivors, thanks for, uh, for watching.